Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. So the reason for this video today is to explain the new weekly PE challenge that we're going to be doing. So every Monday morning, me or Miss Booth are gonna post a quick video with a skill and some different kind of variations of ways that you can challenge yourself within that skill. Uh, what it would then like for you to do is to practice that skill as much as you can throughout the week. So try and practice in the morning, practice during your snack time, practice while you're asleep if you can. Grown-ups, please get involved, practice while like the kettle's on or something quick like that. Um, and yeah, just get involved. The idea being that then on a Thursday, me and Miss Booth will post the official challenge video for that week, which will be based on the skill that you've been doing. Um, we would love it then if you can send us some videos of you doing the skill or just a message with what score you got during the challenge or anything just to let us know that you've been taking part. We then will be giving dojos out to everyone who does take part and some extra dojos for children who've like clearly challenged themselves or even more dojos if anyone actually manages to beat mine and Miss Booth's score. Um, so yeah, please get involved, have fun, get your grown-ups involved, get your pets involved, whatever. And yeah, of course, please as well, stay in touch, keep us posted on how you're getting on and how things are going. So yeah, over to you, Miss Booth. Hi everyone, thanks Mr Mannion. So this week is my week, so I'm up first. We are going to do some squats as our skill. So I know... Probably all of you have done one with Mr. Mannion and my year three fours have definitely done one with me. So this should just be a quick recap for you on how to do it. Um, I'll give you some tips and ideas on um, differentiating. So how you can um, uh, make it a little bit harder for yourself if you're finding it easy and some different challenges for you to do. So I'm just going to quick, really quick, give you an overview of how to do a squat. Like I said, you all should know. Um, but just in case you've forgotten or just to, to give you a quick recap, um, mums, dads, aunties, uncles, brothers, sisters, join in, do it together, do it with um, with everybody, do it as a family if you want to, or like Mr Manion said, before your cup of tea or before you go in the bath, I don't know, just keep practising. So we're going to do a squat first. Um, you can do this anywhere, that's why they're, they're so good to do. Um, I did start outside, but it started raining, so I've come in. Um, but yeah, anywhere. So this is how we're going to do a squat. So I'll stand back here so you can see. We are just going to do a really simple squat. So you need to make sure your legs are shoulder width apart. So the same as your shoulders. So just nice and, and casual. We don't want to be stood really stiff. Nice and chilled. We don't want our legs out here. We don't want to be stood like a statue either. So nice and chilled, nice and relaxed. Um, put your hands wherever you feel comfortable. I have them here. You can hold them out up however you feel to keep your balance so all you're going to do is get yourself comfortable nice and chilled and you're going to make yourself sit down like you're sitting in a chair okay so after me and back up and that's it it is as simple as that um again we're not going all the way down like this we're not just having a little bob you need to push yourself you need to go all the way down keep your feet facing forward we don't want them hanging out like this like duck feet you just hurt your legs. So feet facing forward, nice and relaxed, and just pretend you're sitting in a chair. Simple. Um, if you want to challenge yourself a little bit, you can hold it in the seated position for a bit longer. So maybe five seconds, see how you get on. This should pull, you should feel it all down your legs. It should really pull. Um, so we'll go down and we'll hold it. One, two, three, four, five, and come back up. That's one way. The next is put something on your head, socks, I don't know, a teddy, I've got one here, I've got Lily the lizard, she's going to help me today, stick her on your head or whatever you've got on your head and try and do your squats with something on your head, make sure it doesn't fall off, so make sure you keep your head and your back nice and straight, sorted, that's one way, um, another way you could do a one-legged squat. Now this is really hard and I might fall over, so don't laugh. Um, choose your more dominant leg. Mine's probably my left leg, yours might be your right. Doesn't really matter. Put the other leg up, get yourself nice and balanced, get your hands, and you're gonna go down into a squat on that one leg. So all the way down and all the way up. All the way down and all the way up. It's quite hard, so that's a big challenge if you can do it. The next challenge, 
Now, some of you will probably absolutely smash this. I'm going to have to move this down so you can see. The next challenge is going to be a bottle flip. Now, any of you at school, especially bus children who used to sit with me on the bus, I can't do these, I'm rubbish. But, ultimate challenge. Do a squat while you're seated, bottle flip, see if you can land it and get back up. Are you ready? In my squat, bottle flip. Rubbish. Try again. In my squat. Let's hope that's not the challenge, otherwise you're definitely gonna beat Miss Booth because she's not very 